All right, so we will hit the streets today. Um, and this is my setup that I usually kind of go with. I travel really light. I don't really like to have that many things to weigh me down. Uh, a couple of reasons. Um, one, I just don't want to have that much stuff in my, in my hands. I want my hands to be free as possible. Um, two, I think that it's kind of uh, weird to walk around, walk around with a lot of kind of uh, expensive gear and merchandise with you. So I try to be very tactful with these situations. When you're traveling around in, especially when it comes to street photography, just be very aware of how much stuff that you're actually bringing with you. So um, that's why I travel with these couple of items. So this is my fanny pack. I definitely need this. Um, don't judge me, but this is very, very important to me. Um, I'm able to fit my camera, my lens, uh, my Mophie, and my Nintendo Switch into this uh, little fanny pack. So um, no matter which one you get, make sure it's big enough so you can put your stuff inside of it. Uh, my favorite camera to use right now is the A7R3. Um, this is my everyday camera. Um, also on the bottom of it is this leather kind of protector thingy um, that I got off, uh, got off of Amazon. Um, it's pretty, it was, it was fairly, it, that's pretty moderately priced, but it's really important because I put my, my camera in my bag or if I put my camera in my fanny pack, uh, I don't want to destroy the bottom of my camera. So this is pretty cool to have on there and I can take my battery out. The reason why I went go with the uh, Sony, Sony cameras in general is just because the main thing is the weight and the compatibility. Uh, it's just really easy to carry around. It's really lightweight. Um, even though the 85 is a little bit heavier than um, the other lenses, uh, this camera is just something that I can walk around for three to four hours in a day and not feel too weighed down. Um, so that the Sony model is still full frame, it's mirrorless, um, and it's just super fast. It works really well in low light situations and everything that I shoot for, even though that I'm not super technical, um, it's perfect for that. So that's why I really stick with the Sony a7 um, R3. Um, I used the Sony a7 II for a long time and that was my go-to camera. So, and that one is excellent as well too. So but just anything in the Alpha family, um, those are definitely my go-to cameras. The, and the lens that I tend to use every single day is the 85 1.4. Um, this is one of my favorite lenses because it, is, it does everything that I really need, need it to do. Um, if I want to do something a little bit more intimate, the 85 is tight enough so I can be pretty close. Um, if I wanted to do something a little bit further away, then I could just step back and still have a really tight, composed shot. So the, my 85 is my go-to. But the 25 is great because um, you know, even though the 85 is a really great lens, it's really tight and I don't want to, uh, sometimes you just don't want everything to be so, such a tight shot. So the 25 F2 is a, uh, a decent enough uh, kind of uh, focal length that I can have something that's a little bit wider and I'll be able to capture something that's like a way more intimate like interior shot or something that's more of a building or architecture or you know just having a little bit different flavor so uh, my 25 is another uh, really tight lens to go to I have this one lens theory that I don't like having too much uh, too many products with me I like to focus on one lens because it kind of just lets me focus on the day and and I had to change to the situation and not focus on changing my lenses too much I try to stick with that as much as possible but in situations where I'm traveling or if I'm out of town or, or if just if I'm trying to do something a little bit different, I would bring one other lens with me. So I usually like to have something that's tighter and wide. Uh, so the tight lens would be the 85 that I would usually go with and then something wider, I would shoot with the 25. This is uh, my baby, my Nintendo Switch. So the Nintendo Switch is something that helps me pass my time. Um, for photo shoots or if I'm waiting for like one person to walk into a particular spot, I will play Mario Tennis or like Dead Cells for a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of the things that you know, helps me pass the time and my go-to uh, savior on the road. My Nintendo Switch and what everybody needs in the social media age is a Mophie. Uh, this is um, a, specifically an anchor. Um, and this helps me charge my camera actually, which is really cool about the Sony cameras that you could charge them with a mini USB. So the Movi helps me with that. It, uh, charges, it charges my phone and, you know, it just makes sure that I can actually talk to people um, and not have dead phone products. So it isn't my essential. This uh, camera strap has been with me now for damn near like three years now. I think people actually could, you know, call me out on the street for seeing me this thing, for seeing this camera strap now. But having a really sturdy camera strap is really important. I'm just going to end up probably just going to put my switch into my bag because it is it's very sensitive. And then I'll you put my Mophie in the back. And if, since I'm going to shoot with my 85 today, I will just keep the 25 in my bag for the time being. Um, this is how you would properly equip the fanny pack. Uh, fasten this puppy and then uh, we'll be good to go.